Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with the next video for our May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge. Today I'm going to be making the Flip Flop with Tab Tag. It has to have stitching, a sticker, and washi tape. So I have not put together my journal yet. But I'm going to go ahead and make my flip-flop. I'll actually make a couple of them to give you a couple of ideas. I'm going to be using this parchment paper because I had already printed out some of the envelopes and things on this. So I'll use this in my journal. So for a flip-flop, so this is regular 8.5 by 11 paper. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in one of my sides. Okay, so like this, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and fold over and just making sure that I am not more than five and a half inches because I'm going to be doing this journal ends up, it's going to be nine by six. I just don't have time right now to do the extra large journal. So that will be one of my beginner journal series. Um, so I'm going to do two of those. I'm going to have the second one ready. So we'll just flip in, line it up to your edge, fold it, and you can fold it over straight or you can fold it over um, so that your page side has a little more room, however you want to do it. I'm going to, let's do this one um, even, okay? Okay, so what we have is we have a flip out and a page. This will be the binding of the journal. Okay, go ahead and straighten those out. We'll add this to my, my pages pile. And so this one is going to come out and go like this. And so let's just make sure I have, this is my template that I have here. And as long as it falls within that, I'm good. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this down because we know that sometimes I end up out of frame down here. Okay, so we have to use our, we have to have stitching, sticker, and washi tape for this one, okay? And what we're gonna do is first, let's go ahead and we'll make a flip flop. If you're new to my channel, you might not know about a flip flop. I have this beautiful, notebook paper that was my mom's and it is aged and it is amazing and so I'm going to use this and it just oh my gosh it has the most amazing color um so I'm going to get two pieces for each flip flop and I'm going to go ahead and see if I just fold these yeah, they're going to be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these. I'm going to cut off the fluffy edge here. So using just using the cutter, cut off the fluffy edge. And I am going to cut off... Um, okay, so I'm going to cut this. And we want to make sure... Let's measure this. I want to cut off, well, let's go ahead and cut off. <laughs> let's go ahead and cut off this bottom edge so I get rid of that, okay? I just want to get rid of the, the little edge there. And then I need my paper to fit in here, and it should be eight and a half. So I can just go ahead and measure to eight and a half. And go ahead and cut this. I will save this because I either use it for no papers for me or I will use it in the journal. So let's go ahead. We'll cut two more of these. And just so you know, we're going to fold this in half. So this way it'll take up less area on the desk. So we'll go ahead and fold it in half. Line up your edge there. Fold it in half. And we'll come back to that in a second. So let's go ahead and cut this fluffy edge off. So we're going to 
redo everything we just did. We're going to cut a little off the bottom. And then we're going to turn it and we're going to measure it to eight and a half inches. I am cutting both pieces at the same time. And um, as long as that's working, you know, go ahead and, and do that as long as it works for you. Okay. So there we go. That gives us the piece. And there's that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fold this one. Fold it in half. Oh my gosh, the, the edges on this, the color is, it's perfect. Okay, okay, so now you have it folded in half, and you're going to want to go ahead and fold it again with about between a quarter and a half inch from the original fold, center fold, okay? And that's gonna give you a gutter where you're gonna be able to glue your flip-flop into your um, into your, your journal. Now, a true flip-flop, you actually flip it, you um, put it on the flip, or you can glue it to the page and have it sit there. So for the first one, I will glue it to the page and I'll show you a true flip-flop, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and glue this down. Sometimes when it's been a whole 10 hours since you made something, you might have to <laughs> clean out the tip of your of your glue. So I use this Mono Tombow liquid glue. There's several reasons. One of my favorite things is the small tip. Um, I get it at Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. Um, I usually purchase it when I have like a 20, 30, 40% off regular purchase. And I'll, I'll purchase several because this is what I use. I I love this glue. Okay, so oops, we're doing a regular flip-flop. So for a regular flip-flop, you're going to go ahead, you have your glue up, and you're going to go into the fold, and you're going to fold down the flip. Okay, make sure that your, your flip is in there. Okay. And you're going to glue it into the flip and so this is where the name flip flop actually came from was because originally I always flipped them I always added them to the fold giving you a true flip flop and I guess I I did like four I thought I had two okay so we're gonna glue this one Put glue on this so this gives you a double flip flop and so we're gonna again gonna bring it in up to the fold fold it down fold it down okay so now you have all this extra writing space here okay so you're going to be able to write on here here or draw here so if you're making a journal for drawing or like for a project or something, you can use graph paper here and give you more um, drawing space. So there you go. So that is your true flip-flop. And that is when you add it to the page like that. So now we'll show you a um, not so true flip-flop. Okay, and we'll make this one go the other direction. Okay, so we have, and that's a double flip-flop right there. So we'll do a single flip-flop, and this time we're going to go ahead and put our glue on our, our gutter. Because I cut the margin off, the top margin, it doesn't matter what direction I put this. Um, if you... 
you, if you don't cut the top margin off, then you might want to pay attention to where you're, you're gluing things. Okay, so we, we're going to go ahead this time, and you see I'm putting the edge in, and the gutter is actually on the back. Okay, so the gutter is glued to the back. So this time, I'm able to pull this out, and it doesn't flip. Okay, the page does not come with it. Okay, but you still have your extra, your extra writing space. And I came up with that because I over decorate my journals and, and I wanted to make sure that you had plenty of space for writing in a journal that I made. So again, our list is stitching, sticker, and washi tape. Well, one of the things I thought I would do is I thought I would go ahead and use um, two of the tags from um, from the March party. So when you finish your journal in one of the challenges and you do it on time and um, and you do all the elements and everything, you get invited to a virtual party. And at our party for the March journal, they received this, the French Fashionista digital kit, and we played with it by making tags and pockets. So I wanted to use those. I still need to add the stitching, sticker, and washi tape, but I wanted to use these, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, glue these down. And you can see that I uh, made them like they were paper dolls. I just decorated what they were wearing, added the feather to her hat, and um, I only only could find one feather that day, but, but I found one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to this. You can use double-sided tape. And what it's, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a tab tag. So it's a tag, and I'm adding it to the tab here or the flip, and I'm making it into a tab, okay? So this will become like the door to the flip-flop, okay? So we're constructing our flip-flop. Now, the other thing, of course, you can do is you can turn this into a pocket because I like pockets and I cannot lie. I'm going to change turn mine into a pocket. So that's something you'll see. If it can have a pocket, I probably am gonna make it have a pocket. Okay, so I might not fill the pocket this time, but there's a pocket there. Okay, so this is our flip, regular true flip-flop, and this is the regular flip-flop. Okay, so a true flip-flop, it actually flips Okay, so there I've added those, and I'm really excited about this because I get the full look of these um, these tags. They're not going to be obstructed by being in a pocket or something. Okay, so we need washi tape. Well, one of the things I have, I've told you I had this beautiful washi tape that my parents had given me, and um, it has the Eiffel Tower on it and then it says Paris in a lot of ways and since this is French fashionista I thought we would go ahead and add this I'm so excited to be able to use this washi tape um, washi tape does have a shelf life you'll find that you might go to use your washi one day and it all of a sudden is sticking to itself and and it's very disheartening to have that happen so um, highly recommend that you go ahead and you use your washi okay so there we've added our washi I'm going to do the same thing on this one okay 
And as with any of the elements this time, okay, so there, oh, love it. Um, you can also go ahead and decorate your pages. And I even, I, I even recommend it. Okay, so you can go ahead and decorate your pages with your washi. There we go. Love it. Okay, so um, next we need a sticker. And we used this sticker in another one of our our projects. So I'm going to go ahead and add that right there. And on this one, let's see. I'm going to add the heart. I'm going to add it up to the top. Okay, just like that. Okay, so this was from Dollar Tree. Um, then we have to add some stitching. So I happen to have this stitching that I did on some ribbon. And... Okay, so if it was there, then it came around. We could make this, it could be a, a fabric pocket, because, you know, I like pockets and I cannot, but it doesn't need to be a pocket. Um, I also have this. Okay. Okay, and I can rip it. And remember, ripping fabric gives you the soft look to your your frayed edge. If you just cut it, um, you you'll you won't get that soft look. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm going to just go ahead and add this down there. And I'm going to try it both ways, because believe it or not, I might like one way better than the other. Can even maybe make, do something with her dress. I like it on this side. Okay. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use Fabric Tac. And I let my Fabric Tac dry with the gobbledy glue because um, once it's dried, then no more comes out. Okay, so um, yeah, I've had a couple people say it doesn't look like your Fabric Tac gobbledy glue. Well, mine does. And, but I use it. I'll, I'll use the edge of it until it's close to time being, to being done. And then I'll let it close itself up. So here we go. Just adding some more to the collage. And it probably would have been better if my sticker overlapped. In collage, if your collage pieces touch... It's sometimes more pleasing to the eye. So there we go. I'm going to go with that. So we have our stitching, our washi tape, and our sticker. And this is our flip-flop. Regular flip-flop. And this is our true flip-flop. So let's go ahead and we need to add some stitching here. And... Um, 
You know, we have the room. Let's go ahead and add it. I don't know though. I kind of, I don't know if this, if this rips this way. Let's, we can try it. We'll try it from this edge. Okay. Cause if it doesn't, if it doesn't rip, we'll know. Okay. It does. So I'm, I'm watching it to make sure that we're not going into the stitching. Cause as soon as we go into the stitching, then it's, there we go. Okay. I do like the frayed edge. I'm afraid so. Like the frayed edge. Okay. You can come up here. Let's go ahead and we'll add it like this. We'll add it along this edge. Look at this interesting look that the frayed edge took from ripping it. Okay, so let's start it down here. And we'll go ahead and go up along this edge. And that was ribbon that was in my mom's stash. So you guys will see me. I have, I'm, I'm going through mom's, mom's stuff. So a lot of this stuff is like on the top of everything that I'm, you know, when I go to a box, even though it's already been put away, my mom's stuff, because it's the last thing that was added to the box, is on the top. So you'll see me using a lot of, a lot of stuff from her, her stash. Um, I'm really the only one that does a lot of crafting, and so, um, it came to me and then figuring that if eventually somebody wants <laughs> or is looking for something I'll have it and be able to get it to them so of course you know that was before we we're stuck at home in different counties <laughs> but that's okay okay so um, yeah that's Stuck just a little bit so I'm gonna clean that up just ball that up and rub it off so that is our true flip-flop and I'm gonna cut that down here so that it's even so we have and there's some messy thread we can use that in our in our journals if we want to so these are two pages that I'll be able to have and they are ready to go into my um, into my journal. And these are the flip flop with tab tag. We used stitching, sticker, and washi tape. And of course, you know I I did them very similar, but I wanted to show you the two different ways of adding. And of course, you can add more pages. Your pages can be. You know, if I didn't have to cut off the, the fluffy edge, the pages would have even been a little bit longer. I do like the way they look coming out there. So then we have area in our flip-flop to go ahead and add something else. And we happen to have pockets that we made during that party. And so I used the pocket page, the, um, the duets. So you get four duets, so four pairs of people. Um, I call that the duets, the pocket page. So let's see if we can find one that we can cut down. So we can cut her a little bit and they'll fit there. So that will give me a pocket inside the page of my flip-flop. Um, I am going to use the, the cutter. Um, I'm going to go all the way to the edge of where I had put this fabric. And you can see I've got fabric up at the top that I'm probably going to have to cut, cut through. But that was the fabric washi tape ruffle. We added that to the top. Again, that was during the 
the party for the March finishers and they actually got this um, digital kit as their gift so let's see if we just go ahead I, I could have left that a little bit bigger but I I didn't um, and I'm gonna make it a tuck instead of a pocket so tuck is just gonna be um, glued down in the two two edges and we'll leave the one side open and that way um, you'll have a little bit more room this is going to be where the journal the binding will be for the other page but we'll be able to put that there and we can add you know we can add something to this this pocket and we'll go ahead and do that really quick I have one of the um, Okay, so who's on the front? It's, it's her, so we can use any of, of these. So we can go ahead and make a stamp. And I'm going to use some of the... Is there a scrap edge on... Nope. No scrap edge on that. Is there a scrap edge on this? So this is from the... Yeah, there's a scrap edge on that. So we're going to go ahead and let's use her... and we're gonna make her into being a stamp so this is this the extra small ephemera page from the digital kit and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some glue to her around the edge and then I'm going to glue it down onto this parchment paper because I'll be using this um, by, I have these, these are envelopes and tags that I'll be able to use in this journal. And then I'm going to use my postal scissors. So if you have decorative scissors, hooray. They do still carry these at um, Walmart. I've seen them and I believe Michael's has them in, they're like in the scrapbooking section. You might have to buy a uh, you know a whole bunch of them. So I will try and give you ideas using the different ones over the next little bit of time. I hope you're enjoying these videos and the extra little little bits. You do not have to do this extra pocket or the insert for this, but you know it is all part of the page, and you might I might as well have it done. Is the way I look at it. So the other thing is I'm going to just add some stenciling where the um, address would be. I'm going to see if I can, I should have, I should have added a postcard and then I would have an address that I could just rip out, but it's okay. I'll just add some, some light stamping there. Put my stencil back where it goes. Put the brush back where it goes. That way they'll be there when I want them. And I can go ahead and that can go right down inside there. Okay. So this is going to be a, a page in my journal. Okay. That'll be a page. And again, the true flip-flop where it actually flips over. And we have those pages and the regular flip-flop where it pretty much stays down and then you can flip it, okay? So that is our flip-flop. Flip-flop with tab tag. We used our stitching, our washi tape, and our sticker. So if you'd like to join us in the May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge, the, the details video is in the description box down below. I'm going to add some videos up here. 
Um, for suggestion for you to go watch next, because YouTube really likes that, make sure if you like this kind of video and you'd like to see more, that you hit the subscribe button and, and, the, notif and the notification bell. And when that comes up, tell it you want all notifications so you know when we have videos. So our schedule right now is 10.30 for premieres and things to do with the challenge. And at 4 o'clock each day, I have a beginner series. We started it way back when this, this all started and we were um, home. We are working now on our third journal. It was made out of a cereal box. And you can find that playlist up above here as well as in the playlist down or in the description box down below. Um, I would love to have you join for us for any of those. Those are premieres and I get to be live in the chat and answer any questions. It's a lot of fun and it's kind of a it's like kind of like we all get to come in together and have coffee while we watch a video and hang out and so we we actually did the schedule so that we could plan <laughs> we could plan our life around <laughs> getting together. So we'd love to have you join us. And again, this is the French Fashionista Digital Kit. It's available in my Etsy shop. And that is also in the description box down, the, down below. I want to thank you for joining us. If you're here at the premiere, I'm waving. Hi. And um, please, which one is your favorite? And are, are you a fan of the flip-flop? I love the flip-flop. So... Um, Find something to celebrate every day. Stay safe. Love each other and have a great day. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.